Hey guys, what's up? It's Bibz7 here again. Welcome to another R3 main vlog here today. Gonna be just fishing in this video. No real need to watch the screen if you don't want to, although I may pull up some stuff while I am talking. Um, but yeah, just as far as max cape progress goes, I am fishing currently 86. Actually, I should go do a farm run. I need to be doing these every day when I get home from work and I just got home. So I should go and do a farm run for the day so I will go do that but um, yeah I'm currently 86 fishing nearly 87 it's going quite slow to be honest uh, slower than I was hoping for so I am definitely going to be leaving Menaphos once I reach 93 for Prif Waterfall I believe that's the level um, yes small urchins at level 93 I will be definitely leaving for Prif Waterfall at that point um, but I do want to stay at Menaphos until then just so I can get the rep from doing it because uh, you know I can do rep with soul obelisks but the other best way to train fishing as far as I know is to crystallize and oh my oak planks sold I sold half the oak planks I because I don't need them for construction made five mil on that none of my other stuff is selling but those are mostly like joke margins that I don't really think are gonna sell for but um, Anyways, after that little aside, um, what was I saying? I completely forgot. Oh yeah, I want to stay at Menaphos because I've, the only other way is to crystallize. Fly fishing is, I, I believe, is the next best method for uh, getting your fishing up, and I really don't want to do that because I just did crystallize woodcutting all the way to 99, and that was a pain in the ass, and I don't feel like doing any more of it. So yeah, that's basically uh, that's basically it. I'm pretty much just going to be at Menaphos till. I get the waterfall and then I will be heading to there uh, until 99 but it's probably gonna take me a little bit longer than I thought I'm hoping I can get it before double XP weekend which is not this coming weekend but the weekend after but if not then I'll probably get it either during or shortly after because honestly construction fletching crafting and fire making are all gonna t probably I can probably do all of those in one day like I'll probably not on Friday because I'm gonna be at work obviously but Friday night into Saturday, I will probably have all of those done. And then Saturday night and Sunday all day, I'll probably be able to do other things. So if I don't have fishing done by then, I will get on that. But I plan to know life pretty hard that whole weekend. So, yeah. But um, that's not all what this video is about. I do just like to have a, a little update on my progress at the beginning of every one of these videos. But I mainly wanted to talk about a something that I achieved quite recently and you guys probably know what it is already from the title of the video or if you if you don't if you didn't even read the title somehow then you can probably have already noticed it in my chat I managed to achieve the warden title at Telos which I'm pretty happy about I haven't really gone for it until this point and I got it pretty easily if I'm honest um, I had but before pushing for the warden my highest in rage was 347 something like that I can pull up my my notepad really quick here and you guys can see it um, if I pull up my telos log um, I scroll down to where I got my last orb which was right there and then after this I put a little thing that said it's time for warden because I figured I kind of wanted to go for the warden title and eventually I do want to get at least up to 1000% in rage because that is where the last Telos achievement is which is Telos if you're angry and that, that's the highest level of it is 1000% kill um, but at the moment I'm not going for that and I don't think I will be in the near future but one day I will probably but um, yeah, I basically tried to go for it, and oh, I guess it was 357 was my previous best, because then I tried to go ahead and do, uh, I went ahead and did 362% and got a new best, and then I died on the next kill, I don't remember what happened, but then I got 367%, because each time, even if you die, you can go plus 5%, I'm sure you guys know. And then uh, I, went, I started from 367% and then I just started streaking. I got plus 10 to 377, then I got up to 392, 406, 416, just streaking this whole way. And then I got an insane streak of kills where I got plus 20%, plus 20%, and then plus 20% three times in a row. The maximum percentage that you can get at Telos is plus 20%. And I got that three times in a row, which was pretty insane uh, I, I couldn't really believe that I had gotten such 
good luck because that's really what you want when pushing in rage is to get big jumps so you can do less kills um and this whole time i was just streaking kills i hadn't died at all i was actually i was feeling really good at telos getting the kills easily you know not really having too much trouble i wasn't like i wasn't doing amazing on p5 but i was getting the phase done like i wasn't getting zero or one fonts i usually would get a two font kill but I mean, in my, I mean, I wasn't too mad about it considering I had, you know, I was pushing in rage and streaking at the same time. So I streaked all the way up to here and then I did die, um, which was unfortunate. I did die on the 490 something kill. Uh, I think it was 498. I ended up getting plus 11 at this point and I got 498 and I died because I was faunting the volcanic golems and he was charging his insta kill and right as I went to go tag the font which would have been like at the last second because I hadn't killed the golems in time I got stunned at the last possible second by a, by a volcanic golem and died to the insta kill bomb which really pissed me off because I was hoping I could maybe just streak straight to warden but I did end up dying which really sucked but it wasn't too tragic. I, I was just pissed that it was because of like a go volcanic golem. Um, but after that, I actually went and did a kill with a death touch dart for P5, which was like something I, I, I brought the death touch dart. So it doesn't count as a KC. So I didn't put it on my log um, because it would have been weird. It would not have lined up with my kill count. Um, but it does allow you to sh streak and rage like that. And I just didn't want to have to do two whole kills uh, w before I got my warden, so I just used a death touch dart. Just so you know, you cannot use a death touch dart to get the warden title. You have to actually get the kill. But if you want to just use one to um, increase your enrage without having to ha deal with the hassle of P5, it only works for one phase as well. So you do have to do the whole rest of the kill regardless. Um, but I just wanted to make sure that the next kill I went on after the, after the time I used my death touch dart was my warden kill so I did 492 percent with it with a dart and then that gave me plus 12 to 504 and I got that kill as well back to back with the one with the death that dart on the streak and I unlocked the warden title so I was pretty hype about it um I was pretty nervous going into that 500 percent kill even though it was you know realistically the difference is not that big but it just kind of you know it was like a little bit of pressure and actually getting the title but i did manage to get it which was pretty sweet uh something a lot of people go for and you know you don't really see it all that often i mean if you're maybe in the max guild all the time then you maybe do but you know i was just it was something i wanted to go for it was a little break i took i took it took me uh about two full auras to push all that in rage so or not it wasn't full auras. it probably was like maybe one full aura or like one and a half auras to get to that from from like 357 all the way to where I'm at so yeah it was pretty sweet I was really happy to be getting it and it was like when I first started doing Telos I just always thought like I'm never going to get the warden title it's too hard or it's too insane but I did finally manage to get it I, I hadn't gone for it before like I said but I never really streaked that high or tried to so it was pretty cool um, and I'm looking forward to like once I go back to Telos trying to go for like a zero to 500 streak That's like my next goal uh, I guess at the boss like a mini like a sub goal of getting better uh, And then eventually I'd like to push myself to a thousand percent in rage, which would be pretty sweet, but It's at this point that I would feel comfortable making a guide on the boss if you guys would like to see one There are guides out there on YouTube But I feel like there are some things that aren't mentioned or they're not specific enough And if they are if they if I were to make one I would make it quite specific just to make it a little bit easier for those who sort of you know are pretty intuitive on being able to use abilities and are able to do it properly you know they already know how to you know do combat well and they could just you know know the rotations I would be able to have like specific ability rotations for each phase or you could also just I would like have like two sides of it like it would easily be approachable if you wanted to do it as a general learning and you didn't have the specific combat knowledge on what abilities should be used in what situations I could easily give it uh, even less specific than that and just have a general guide as well. So I definitely will look into that if people want to see it. You can, you know, either throw a like on this video or drop it in the comments just so I know if people want to see it because if people don't really want the guide, then I'm not going to make it because it would take probably quite a while to not only compile the clips but also just make it in general. So 
do let me know if you guys would like to see a guide on Telos from me. Um, like I said, I know there are other guides on YouTube, but I feel like there are some points that aren't addressed and I could definitely, you know, help increase your, you know, ability to do the boss well if you, uh, if you've tried it before or if you've never done it and want to get into it. So, yeah, let me know because I myself, you know, I was in, I was in the, your shoes not too long ago, you know, looking at the boss thinking, wow, you can make some great money there. I would love to do it, but it looks really hard and it looks really tough to approach. But, you know, I, I, it, it's the, the main thing you got to realize with Telos is it is a learning curve and there are not many bosses like it in the game. Rax is probably the closest, but it's still nowhere near as, uh, as hard in terms of mechanics as well as the enrage and everything. It's just not the same as any other boss in the game, in my opinion. And you just need to practice and if, you know, you need to not get discouraged if you end up dying or failing kills early on because it's all about getting more familiar with the rotation that you need to do to get successful kills as well as just the you know the getting familiar with the boss and its attacks in general so yeah I just wanted to make this video talking about the warden and everything one more little video about Telos uh, obviously didn't get any drops on that little streak I did unfortunately that would have been pretty crazy but yeah, still hoping to get a staff eventually. Uh, obviously, I would love to get the dormant title, which is now out for getting one of each drop. Fortunately, they don't have any of the drops that I got previously on there, but that's just the way it is with this new system. Obviously, they would have had trouble being able to retroactively do regular drops. Um, but if you did have, I'm pretty sure if you have orbs in your bank, they do count towards the new system because they're untradeable. So you obviously would have had to get them from Telos. So, yeah. But um, that's pretty much it, you guys. Just wanted to make this little video. Let me know, again, if you want to see the guide from me. I'm not promising it anytime soon. It probably wouldn't come out until after I max, but I definitely would like to maybe make one. And once I get max, I would like to get back into making guides again. I used to make them a lot in the past, and uh, I just haven't made one in a while. And I would like to make some more. If you guys would like to see them, just let me know in the comments. But I'm going to get back to fishing here and continue my grind for max cape not too far off now but um fishing has been slower than i was anticipating but i don't know i also have a little project i'm working on uh in the background that i am not gonna mention specifically um but i am working on something that i will probably end up releasing videos for in the future uh, and also those of you who didn't see my video yesterday on my hardcore Iron Man, you might want to go check that out. Uh, I won't say why, but it's pretty depressing. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.